Many people leave the photoresist on an etched board. It protects the copper from oxidizing and acts as a half reasonable solder flux. However, it is far better to remove the photoresist and apply a chemical tin coating to the tracks and pads of your circuit. To do this, the photoresist first needs to be removed. It can be stripped in one of our temperature controlled PCB tanks or, as shown here, with a stripper applicator. Place the drilled board on a tray and using the SN120 strip applicator, apply the stripper to the board. After 20 to 30 seconds, all the resist should have been stripped off, leaving the shiny copper pads and tracks. Wash the board thoroughly and then using the scrub block, thoroughly clean the copper surface. Remember, the shinier the copper, the brighter the tin will be. Wash the board thoroughly again. Not only will applying a tin coating improve the aesthetics of the board, it will also prevent the copper from oxidizing and make it far easier to solder components into place. Again, a temperature controlled PCB tank can be used or a tray or container as shown here. Place the board in the tinning container and close the lid. Agitate the solution by rocking the container. After five to six minutes, remove the board and if possible, wash in hot water and then cold water. Finally, dry the board with tissues or paper towels. Your board can now be trimmed to size if necessary and then assembled and soldered. Remove the ferric chloride crystals from the white bucket. Put two litres of hot tap water into the bucket and slowly add one packet of crystals. Using the plastic rod provided, thoroughly stir the solution and then slowly add the second packet of crystals. Again, stir thoroughly. Leave for 30 minutes and then stir vigorously until all the crystals have dissolved. The solution is now ready to pour into the etching tank. Please note, when you pour the solution into the etching tank, you will need to top it up with water until the solution level is about 12 millimeters below the ledge on which the basket lid sits. Remove the brown bottle from the immersion tin plastic container box. Put 0.25 litres of cold water into the brown bottle and then carefully top up with nearly boiling water from a kettle. Screw the lid back tightly and then shake the bottle vigorously. After five minutes, Shake the bottle vigorously again. The solution is now ready to be poured into the tin plastic container. Finally, whatever equipment you are using, when you've finished making your boards, wipe the tank and tray with a damp cloth to remove any spillages of developer, etchant, resist or tin to ensure that everything is cleaned properly and ready for the next use. This good housekeeping will ensure that your equipment has a long lifetime and that you have a clean working environment. We hope you found this video informative. Our complete range of PCB processing equipment and consumables, as well as a comprehensive range of data sheets, can be found on our website.